Hello everyone and welcome. In this video I'm going to be covering my VS Code extensions that I use to develop in Ruby on Rails. This has been quite a highly requested topic so without further ado let's get started. So I'll go to my extensions and the first one that I have is called ERB Formatter. And what this one does is that if I go to a file let's go to a views lay or posts index.html.erb and let's say that I tab all this over a little bit then I hit save it's going to automatically neaten it up and so I just put this link a little bit over to the right and then I hit save. This is going to automatically bring that link back here. Note that it doesn't work on comments but I find this extension to be really really useful just to make the file look a little bit neater. It doesn't look perfect but it looks neater. So this one is called ERB formatter and you have to actually install the gem HTML beautifier in the project. So you, I could go ahead and do that now, but I'm not going to do that. Make sure with all these gems that you're actually checking the requirements and what you actually have to do. It's not just install the gem and then that's it. You have to do some things after. And so you also have to add this to settings.json, which you can find by, by clicking on settings or manage and then settings. And then it should be here. Yeah. Open settings.json. Then the next one that I have is called GitLens. Essentially what this tool does is that if I go to a file here, it will show me when I last committed this to GitHub. This particular project is pretty much fresh, so that's why it's not showing up here. But it will show like in a comment and it will say when you last pushed. It also has some other features, but I find that alone to be very, very useful. Then we have a JS code former, then live server to open up HTML files. Then we have RuboCop, which is another code formatter. Carrying on, I've got this JSON extension. I'm not really sure why I even have it, but I do. And then also we have Tab9. This is an AI that will try to autocomplete my lines of code. It's not very good because it's free. There is a paid version, but I'm not paying for it at the moment. It's not absolutely necessary, but it can just give you that 1% boost. So I do recommend having it. It's better than not having it, but not necessary. And then we have this extension and then a Ruby extension. There is another Ruby extension that has like 3 million downloads, but it was deprecated. So this is the new one and it's by Shopify and I find it to be pretty decent. It just highlights your code and also is a formatter as well. That concludes all of the extensions that I use to develop with Ruby on Rails. If you found this video helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up and like it. If you would like someone to help you and guide you along the journey of learning Ruby on Rails, then you might be interested in my mentorship program. The link is in the description and I find that the people that I help are actually able to grasp this framework much quicker than if I were not there. So the money is very well spent. Again, thank you for watching and if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.